Hey guys, welcome to the Comic Den. I'm your host, Ace Knuckles, and here I'm going to do something that I've been meaning to do for a very long time, and first I want to apologize uh, that it took so long to Drew Spence, who asked me to uh, kind of do a review of a few of his projects. Uh, he asked me several weeks ago, and you know stuff just kept coming up, and I never got around to it, and then, uh, I mean, life just happens, um, but... Here I am, I'm gonna do a real quick review. I'm not gonna go in depth, one, because I don't wanna spoil anything, uh, and two, because he has so much stuff out there that it would just be an enormous video. And I was pleasantly surprised, um, especially since he seems to be kind of a one-man army whenever he's doing this, and man, does he have just a plethora of things going on. Um, so what I'm gonna talk about today is his story, Force Six, The Annihilators. Um, so again, artist and writer, uh, is Drew Spence. Um, so first, whenever I, whenever I look at a comic, um, obviously you're not supposed to judge a book by its cover. Uh, but I do, I, I judge it by the art. If the art isn't there, I'm, it really takes me out of it. Um, Grant Morrison's Green Lanterns, the art took me out of it. And then the story took me out of it. But, uh, the art on this is unique. Um, and I say that because it's not done like a traditional comic book. It's not, uh, or at least it doesn't look to be um, penciled, inked, colored, and then you run it through. It looks like it's all computer generated. And for me, this kind of hit a bunch of nostalgia points for me because I grew up watching all of the old cartoons where uh, computer graphics were just kind of coming into the mainstream. Um, it, it reminds me a lot of the Transformers uh, Dinobots, I believe it was, where you had like the gorilla and the T-Rex and the Triceratops and all of those things. Uh, it's very reminiscent of that style of digital work. And so it, it threw me off a little bit at first, but then I got into it. It, it brought up all these nostalgia feelings. Uh, and so I really got into it. I'm also a huge science fiction fan. Um, and he kind of boasts himself as a science fiction writer and a science fantasy writer, which you can kind of see that coming in through here. Um, so basically, it's a group of people, and the main character is kind of fighting some demons that he's got. Again, I'm not going to go too much into what the story's about. Uh, I'm just going to do real broad strokes on this, um, just because I don't want to give anything away. But some stuff happened to our main character. Uh, in his past. He's dealing with that. They're also dealing with all these other issues that are coming up. And what's cool about it is it's kind of a trope, you know, the, the old story of the guy who has to deal with his demons and then he has to deal with them so that they can get through whatever's happening now. But it's set in such a way that it's almost refreshing because Everything in this book is so far out there. I mean, these people have uh, powers, they have enhancements, they have all of these crazy things going on and all of these other crazy characters coming into the story that you almost need a little something to hold on to that's familiar. Um, and everybody's seen movies where people have cybernetic enhancements or people have powers. Uh, but he just kind of throws you into the mix. And if you didn't do that and he didn't have that one familiar thing to hold on to, that centerline trope, uh, I think things would get a little bit lost. But knowing that this is kind of the path that you're going to take so that you can almost kind of see what's going on, uh, for me at least, uh, it was very grounding. It, it, it held me into the story because uh, I can pull this piece of information over here and I can line it up with where we're going and I can pull this piece of information Um just be prepared to be thrown into just an insane world <laughs> of uh, action and science fiction and robots and mutants and all kinds of craziness. Um, yeah, I, again, I, I really, I, I'd like to talk about it, but I also don't want to throw it out, like all of this stuff, because I want you to go read his stuff. Um, it's good. I enjoyed it. Um, it and it's, it's fun for me especially now. I was never one of those people that went and read indie comics um, just because my money was precious and I only wanted to get proven items. 
uh, which was Marvel DC, maybe some image if they were already a big name. Um, but now that I'm actually into the indie world, I am way more likely to pick up an indie comic and I'm more likely to pay more money for it because I know the process. I know the blood, sweat, and tears. I know the grind that you have to go through. And I know that there's so much heart in any indie comic, whether it becomes a big comic or whether it just always stays, you know, this little underground thing that's going on. Uh, I, I understand the grind that has to go on. So, um, yeah, again, go check this guy out. Drew Spence, check him out at Dynamica Music. Uh, on YouTube, on Instagram, check out Force Six, The Annihilators. He's also got uh, a couple other things out um, that I hadn't had a chance to check out, uh, but it's all on comic Comicsology, which we're trying to get Magnus on Comicsology. So good on you for getting on there, man. Um, so check him out on Instagram, YouTube. Uh, his book is available on Comicsology. You can find him on Instagram at Dynamica Music. Um, Again, book is four six the annihilators. Um, you can also find him on YouTube at Dynamic Music or Dynamica Music. Sorry, um, he's also got his own website, DynamicUniverse.com, and there's a ton of stuff going on on that website too. And then you can also find him on Patreon at the Dynamic Universe. So if you check him out, you enjoy his stuff, go support him on Patreon. Uh, this man works very very hard. Um, I. I write my own comic, uh, and I have one of my friends, Chris Rao, he's the artist, and then we kind of brainstorm, and even with the two of us, it's very slow, very time-consuming, uh, and it's it's a huge process, so with this guy doing everything all by himself, hats off to you, man, because you have just so much content out right now, it boggles my mind. Uh, I hope that you know i at least get you some traffic and congratulations on this story man it's awesome uh if you make any more or if you are making any more shoot that kickstarter my way or whatever you're doing to fund it um yeah send me links let me know what's going on thanks guys